Hi everyone, today I will compare all of my favorite sunscreens and tell you what I love about each one of them. I've gotten so many questions from you regarding the various sunscreens that I hope this video will sort of give you a better understanding. If you're interested in the technical, like the technology in the sunscreens, or the benefits in terms of pollution, UVA, UVB, HEV, things like that. I have a designated video on the Skin Better Science sunscreens. I have a designated video on the Color Science sunscreens. I will link those down below. And today's video is going to be more about how it looks, how it wears, um, because all of these sunscreens are 100% mineral based. All of these sunscreens are cruelty free and they all have the broad spectrum protection. Those are the only kinds of sunscreens I use. So they have to protect from pollution, from HEV or blue light, from infrared light, um, UVA, UVB. They have to have a high protection. They have to have no chemicals because I don't see a reason in modern in our modern day and age to put on sunscreens that penetrate our skin and get into our bloodstream. So these are all 100% mineral based. And as I said before, all cruelty free. Let's get into it. I'm gonna start off with sunscreen for the body because there's only one I use and that's the Color Science Sun Forgettable. This is such a great sunscreen. It's not greasy, it's not sticky. You put it on and you don't feel you put on sunscreen, which um, I find is hard to find for a body sunscreen. Usually you kind of feel sweaty and, and sticky and, and it doesn't feel great. And this one's like you're not wearing anything at all. And it's such a high quality sunscreen. So uh, this comes in the, um, the colorless form and there's a bronze version which is quite dark so if you have a deeper skin tone that one is great for a neutral color and if you're pale you can uh, give yourself an instant tan by using the the bronze one it's got a nice glow moving on to the face i do have quite a few favorites and it depends on what I'm looking for. The first favorite I will mention, which has gone into practically every one of my videos, is the Color Science Powder. And the reason I'm mentioning this is I always use a lotion sunscreen in the morning and I will usually reapply that lotion again in the day if I'm in the sun. But this is a sunscreen that I reapply all the time throughout the day. And if I forget an area like my hands or my forearms or my neck, I always, I can't live without this. It's just a really quick and easy on the go uh, mineral sunscreen, which is waterproof and has broad spectrum protection. It's the only um, Cancer Foundation approved sunscreen that's waterproof. And I just think of all the powders out there, this is by far the best one. In terms of lotions, it gets a little bit more tricky. It depends on what I need on a certain day. I do absolutely love these two new lotions by Skin Better Science. Um, one of you asked me, does, it, does your hair stick to your face after you put it on? It was such a great question because it just totally gives you a visual and um, and makes it super easy to answer the question. So the Sun Better Tinted Lotion is an SPF, SPF of 75, and it has a glow to it. Um, so this one does leave a glow and a little bit of a sticky tacky film to the skin. So if it's windy, yes, your hair does stick to it, to your skin if you're wearing the sunscreen. This one on the other hand um, does dry down completely within about 10 to 15 minutes and your hair will not stick to your face. Um, this one is sheer. The thing with this one that I find for me is that it's a matte finish, but it's so matte that I actually, my skin starts to look dry once this has dried down. So sometimes I think this one is perfect for a humid day or maybe slightly oily or just non-dry skin. This one would be perfect. If you're slightly oily, you might find this one a bit greasy, even though it's oil-free. They're both oil-free. But this one just leaves a bit of a glow, 
which may turn into a shine for some. Um, for me, what I do, I don't really love the glow that much. So what I do is I apply this and then I put on the Color Science powder afterwards. And that suits me just fine because then I have even more sunscreen protection. Um, so that's how I would compare these two. This one for a humid day, a beach day, um, if I want absolutely no shine, so let's say I'm filming a video and I don't want to be shiny, I might opt for this one. And this one, it just gives a little bit more of a glow. So this combined with a light powder on top is perfect for me. So that's these guys. I'm going to quickly mention the compact, the Skin Better Compact, which as you can see is empty at this point. This used to be my favorite everyday sunscreen. I still love this one and here's the difference. This one has a lot more color and coverage. So if I want a little bit of a tan in the winter or a little bit of a bronze look, I will use this one. But this one, because of the color, uh, I do need to look in the mirror. So if I'm doing makeup, this one is, is fine and it just needs a little bit more attention. Whereas the lotions I just showed you, you don't need a mirror. You can just sort of put them on and go. So this one just takes a little bit more um, caution putting it on. And this one also, even though I believe it's supposed to dry matte, it, it can, and I've heard from certain people that it will make them oily or shiny. So this one, you may need a powder on top sometimes, but it is a beautiful finish for like a light bronze, um, or just a very light tan, even tone sort of a color. Moving on, a super easy sunscreen um, that I love. This one is sheer, like the lotion, but this one does not make me feel dry. And that is the uh, Skin Better Sun Stick. This one is almost empty. It's just a white stick, but it goes on sheer. And this one doesn't dry me out. It does dry matte, so it's perfect in those ways, but the SPF is 56. So I won't use this if I'm going to the beach for the whole day or if I'm going to be in the sun all day. I will use this one if I'm going to be sort of a mix of outdoor, indoor. I don't need such strong protection. It's extremely comfortable. It's great for children. It's great also for body. So you can just take the stick and put it on your decollete or your arms. It's easy application. So I guess I do have another body lotion. I mean, I wouldn't use this on my legs because it's not enough product, but I do use this on the body on small areas. And this one is matte, but is not as drying as the sheer lotion. And it has less SPF and PA protection. This one has three pluses. This one has four pluses. This one is an SPF of 56. This one is an SPF of 70. And the color, um, the Color Science Face Shield used to be my favorite until all the Skin Better Science sunscreens came out. And now I would say, while this is still an excellent sunscreen, um, the color range is difficult to match. Um, the way I do it is I will combine multiple products, but not everyone wants to go out and buy this sunscreen in all the tones it comes in. I find it's a bit sticky and it's a bit, it gets displaced easily, whether it's on your phone when you're talking, um, it just never really dries down. It is a great sunscreen, but from a cosmetic point of view, I just don't find this one has as nice of a finish. If you like more of a silicone sort of a feel, the Tizer 2 is great. The Tizer 2 is sheer. The Taizo 3 is tinted and it's a really beautiful light um, kind of uh, tan color. And they both have more of a silicone sort of feel to them. So they're really easy to apply and they feel quite nice on the skin and they're not sticky and they dry, dry down nicely. So I do like these as well. Um, the SPF on this one is 40 and that's why I don't reach for this one as much as I reach for the others just living in Southern California and having so much sun exposure. Next, I'm going to mention the Color Science All Calm. I do love this sunscreen. This one also has a silicone finish and it has, um, it's very thick and it's very pigmented and this is ideal 
for uh, post-procedure or rosacea or red skin. It just covers up the redness so nicely. So if you've gotten red skin, whether it's too much retinoin or a recent procedure, this one can be really, really nice. So I do love this one. When I'm, when I'm not red though, I tend not to use this one because it is so thick and it has such a thick coverage. I, I prefer a look that sort of doesn't look like I'm wearing skin makeup. And so that's why I don't reach for this one every single day. And last but not least is the Hydratint Pro Mineral by Elastin. And a lot of people really love this sunscreen. It has a beautiful glow and a beautiful light bronze color. For me, I find it makes me orange. If I use enough product to get the proper amount of sun protection, it has too much color that doesn't really match my skin. And if I compare my face to my uh, neck, it just looks orange. I, I was wearing this once, I didn't really realize it until I sat down to film a video. And I looked at myself on film and I thought, I look really orange. And so this, I think this is beautiful if you don't apply too much of it. And of course, that's not the point of sunscreen. But if you do apply a thin amount or maybe you're, you know, you're not going outdoors that much, you're indoors, this could be a nice choice. But really, I this one's almost brand new. I barely reach for this one um, for those reasons. That covers all of my favorite sunscreens, more from a cosmetic and sort of the daily pragmatic point of view. If you'd like to know more details about the ingredients and the technology in these sunscreens, check out my color science sunscreen video and my skin better science sunscreen video. Those two go into great depth and detail about the technology of the actual sunscreens themselves. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.